a warm-up technique mm, or any tips? Well, as I'm still freezing, in spite of having just sound checked with the great Courtney Pine and everybody, um, this is a stretch. It's been attributed to many different people, but um, I'm going to go with somewhere between uh, Rachmaninoff and Art Tatum. Somebody along the line there came up with this. And it's just this. It's pretty wide and it hurts at first, but one finger per note. And then I go through all the keys if I'm being good every day. Etc. So we go through all the keys like that, and hopefully you're a bit warmer and a bit more ready at the end of it. Okay, artist or album that inspired me, that would be Rhapsodia by the great Cuban pianist Gonzalo Rubalcaba. And why? Um, this is early 90s, and it's just the tail end of the time when you had to really listen a lot to the one album. I was very late in getting a CD player. Everyone else seemed to have one around me, so I really appreciated an album for months and months on end. And um, that, was, that was one of the last ones of that era that I had my mind blown in that way. So it was an incredible experience that I can only imagine was something like Love Supreme for saxophonists. It seems every composition, every member of that quartet was saying something incredible um, and I wasn't ready for it and I'm still in being influenced by it now. Later on as well I've had the great pleasure of playing with two of the members of that band and that's uh, Julia Barreto on the drums which I played, who I played with a little with Steve Coleman and uh, the uh, phenomenal Felipe Cabrera who I'm still playing with a bit as part of Julian LaRose group, the Groove Retrievers who are based in Paris. So I've had the pleasure of being, in, of being inspired from a distance and up close by the actual folks who kind of took part. So yeah, Rhapsodia, which is on Blue Note. You have to search for it a bit now, but it's, it's still around. What advice have I got for young musicians? Um, apart from the plain obvious, practice like there is no tomorrow. Uh, this is a bit pointed, but I'll say it. Um, ask your local political representatives to put more music and more arts and more, th more drama on the syllabus, on the school, at the school, at the youth centre, if there's any such thing like that left now. Um, but we have to see it more active in everyday life in this country. That's one thing, um, because the lessons should be free and available for everybody. So I hope that can help spread the word and get together in actual bands with your friends. You know, it's great having YouTube, great having everything online, Instagram, so on and so forth, but sit in a room and develop your thing in an actual band. Have the good times, have the fights, have the rehearsals, have it out, but come together in tribes and tell your story your way for as long as you can because we need it badly.